Welcome guys to another video of mine. My name is Veluche and today I will show you how to carry and whoa what the fuck? Yes, there we go. Today I will show you how to carry with 80 carry basically in lower elos. Uh, this game is uh plays this game is played in gold elo. Whoa, I'm talking so hard right now. Uh, but most people are platinum from this season. So um I was gonna play Ash. Actually, Ezreal, but Ezreal got picked, and I was gonna play Ash because Ash works really good against Ezreal. Um, but then I saw the enemy team, Scylla, Set, and <laughs> Kassadin, so I was like, hell nah, bruh, ain't gonna pick Ash into that. So I picked Zaya. She got some self peel. Also, I don't have all champions on this account, so I only have 5 ADs. Um, but yeah, that's why I went for Zaya. So I'm just gonna show you what you can do with Zaya in order to win. Now, what we definitely don't wanna do is get this game into late game like we don't really have any late game champions besides me they have Kassadin and Kassadin equals two of the enemy team late game champions so yeah definitely not gonna pull this to late game I want to end this mid to early game if that's possible so we're gonna try to make out some plays um, in the laning phase yeah whoa okay our Vi is actually AFK come on Vi Wake up. <laughs> Young AFK Elizabeth. Right. The enemy doesn't have to know that she's uh, AFK. I'm gonna start Q actually. Usually I start W. If they had a melee support then maybe I would have uh, went for W as well. But I do want to get that level 2 stun onto their faces. And with Q it's so much easier than with W. So what Janna should do right now is stand behind minions. But don't stand just behind one minion because Bart will be able to Q. Stand behind two minions like this. So even if Bart Qs, he can't get the stun off. And also push for level 2. Don't want them to get level 2 before us. Bart isn't really that strong level 2. There we go. Quick trade. Um, so my thought process is right there is... I stun Bart. The first thing Bart will probably do is Q me as he see me walk up. So I just immediately sidestep and just basic attack once. So that's more than enough for a short trade like that to win. Also, it will uh, give you respect in the laning phase. Bart will not think twice when he's walking up against me. And for some reason, I just got tower aggro. Super weird. Anyways, we also have to watch out for Seth, even though he's not like the scariest jungler. Uh, we do have to watch out for him. Bart is here. Trying to get a Q on me, so I'm just gonna stand on the left side. Let's see, maybe I can get another stun on Ezreal. I do want to get level 3, because we have so much more kill potential. If they would have engaged on Jenna right there, I would have flashed E. And I'm pretty sure one of them would die immediately. Perfect. So we're level 3. Zaya is super strong at level 3. Let's see if we can get a, s a root on someone. There we go. That's enough. I'm not gonna risk my life for it. I don't think they healed. No, they didn't heal. But that's super worth it, that trade. Like... Keep doing those things. Maybe I shouldn't have, shouldn't have taken that much damage. But then again, it's, it's fine. Also, very weird Q of Janna. She should focus on Bart right now as he's low, not on Ezreal. What we have to watch out for right now is the enemy jungler as we're pushing in. Now, because Seth doesn't really have any gap closers and we do have some CC, I'm not too worried about him. But for Janna, it's very important to keep her Q up right now. In case he does come. For me, it's important to have my E up. But then again... I am still looking for a play on Bart. Whenever Janna shields me, you can go in for a quick, quick Q as it deals more damage. Maybe I should go for a flash play actually. This Q is down. There we go. 
I have to watch out for his Q. Can almost kill me. So the reason why I could go in for a flash play is because they were super low already because of all the poke I did and it's pretty easy to get a kill. I did take all of the damage the enemy did. Jenna didn't take any damage. Um, that's something I really have to watch out for even right now. I noticed that I'm taking too much free damage and I I don't want to blame my support for it because obviously I can see now that I was going to flash in. But I usually take way more damage than I should. So self-reflecting things yeah i can't really help there ezreal is aiming for me right there as he saved this e and everything so going in oh no creep lot i got creep lot oh that's sad i'm just gonna ward because i had two wards yeah we want to cool down to run okay How's the game going? I'm super glad Kassadin don't have any kills. That's like the most important thing. We're going for boots. Actually get a ward as well. We're going for boots and BF sword. Obviously BF sword is a must when you have 1300 gold. Like almost on any AD carry besides Ezreal. Super, 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 super good for your first back. He is out farming me. Whoa. Respect. Actually, respect. I'm not uh, even being sarcastic. He's doing a pretty good job. Only Conqueror. Yikes. Okay. All my respect just went away. <laughs> Bart is probably roaming, I think. Or he's cheesing in one of these bushes. I didn't watch. So what I'm going to do right now is because Ezra has enough gold for Tear of the Goddess. I'm just going to pull these minions up. I hope she will shield me. Yes. Thank you very much. No, no, no. Don't. Don't. Oh, yeah. Good job. I was about to say, just let him recall. It's fine. But now they wasted even more of his time, so that's even better. No, 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 no! He just... She ruined the whole freeze. Oh my god, this... Let's not flame, let's not flame. She was trying to help. She didn't take any CS. She thought it was the right play. No need to flame. I have to hard shove this super hard. Okay. Remember, Zaya always out damages Ezreal as long as you don't really take too much poke beforehand. So once you engage with your W, you should. Ah, oh, I switched aggro on Ezreal for some stupid reason. Anyways, we could have almost killed him if it wasn't for his heal. Right now we're level 6, he's still level 5, what is he doing? He should back. He should definitely back, if he's not, I'll take that as an offense. There we go. Actually gonna kill Seth right now. Oh wow, he can be... Okay, yeah, that was my bad. I could have killed him, but... He actually spawned be, uh, behind me. I thought he would just spawn in front of me after that Zawardo trick he did. There we go. So I hit a minion because I would get movement speed from my W and then I could basic attack him once and then I could use my E. So... Yeah, that was my thought process on that. Also, if I didn't feel so super hard on set. It would have been way nicer. What is Bart doing? Why is he looking for a Q on me? I don't get it. It's so risky for him. He shouldn't. So we're gonna sn snowball off of bottom. Oh, well, okay. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. Oh, Bart the carry is coming. Wait. Did she just flash? She did. Oh no, she's gonna make it. Is she gonna make it? No. I was about to say, if she's gonna make it, then uh, kudos to her. So we're gonna go for boots and for two long swords instead of just finishing uh, Warhammer or get an agility cloak. The reason why is because movement speed is super important, so we can dodge out skills from them, and also because we can get close way more and snowball way harder with our W 
also um what was i gonna say i was gonna say something else attack speed obviously it's also nice with ult i can 1v2 right now and also with flash up but without it i'm not even gonna try it <laughs> nice There we go. Okay. Drake is not up, so I don't see any reason. Um, yeah. Shove this in. Clear some wards. Come back to the laning phase afterwards. So right now, because we shoved in, we have a little bit of time to ward the enemy jungle. Also take scuttle. So I'm just going to place a ward here. Take this. Should be fine so we can see Seth coming if he goes into his own jungle. I don't know if they went back or not. So I'm just going to shove this in. Maybe get one more plate if you're fast enough. And take those heals. No, we're not going to take heals. So what we have to watch out for is that Bart can come from here with Seth, so that's why I'm standing here. As long as I don't see Bart, yeah, I'm just gonna play safe. Also, I'm not gonna make the same mistake by overextending on their tower. It was super stupid and not necessary at all. So just because her Q hit, I know that my QE will hit and it deals a lot of damage. That's why I went for it. You can't by the way, do that way more often, but it costs a lot of mana, as you can see. 90 mana, so it's not always worth it. Set is coming. Since I know set is coming, I'm just gonna pretend that I'm dumb and I don't know it. Maybe you can force play with my ultimate. Usually you can kill the enemy laners before the jungler even arrives. There we go. That's a one trait right there. So now I know for a fact that Seth will come bot because they will spam ping him for not coming. As you can see, it deals 250 damage, that's a lot. So right now we're gonna play dumb. I want Bart to use his ultimate. Okay. I was gonna I'm not gonna use my ult for that. Yeah, also not gonna use flash to get secure that kill unless there is no other option. Again, <clears throat> mechanically speaking, I'm really rusty because I haven't played League for a very long time. But uh, yeah, because I already knew what was gonna happen, I could prepare myself for it. Whoa, 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 what's going on? No, please don't get hit. That's so good. Is E still hit? Didn't expect Celis. No, me neither, actually. I didn't expect him. But we're super strong right now. Kind of filled that play, but that's fine. We're immediately gonna rush Infinity Edge because we are trying to snowball right now. He's 5 1. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need uh, anti heal, so let me tell you why. So, Seth obviously heals a lot, and Celus also heals super much. Just for one of them, it's an okay item to buy anti heal, but if you have two against them, definitely buy it. Ezreal will also heal, and Bart will also heal just a little bit, so I mean, it's very justified to buy it pretty early on. just you waited so long with this stun actually but as you can see we deal a lot of damage if it wasn't uh, 
for the stun, I could have killed maybe both. And also if I had ult, it would have been a different story as well. But Ezreal was just doing very weird things, so... I mean, I'll take it any day. Karen is doing a pretty good job by uh, just pushing in. He shouldn't do anything else. He's not the best roamer. Oh, he actually killed him as well. Good job. Oh. We got tower and bot, so I'm just going to take red. Now we'll group up mid. I do want Lux actually to go bot. So we don't waste too much XP in mid. But I can't really expect her to go bot, can I? Go. Uh, SI, you can take a lot of jungle creeps really fast thanks to your passive feathers. Um, I am gonna ask her to leave just because I think it's the right call. Actually, there's no resistances. Ooh, that was so close. Would I die? No, I don't think I would have died there. But I'm not also... Oh, shit. Also not gonna risk it. Ooh, nice, okay. Silas is always like a very tricky champion to play against. My ult. Oh, you can't do anything with it. So that's fine. Oh, nice. Oh, why is Bart waiting so long with his Q? If he queued earlier, I think he should have gotten. It's mine. There we go. Oh, that's super clean, actually. Four for one. Nice, so let's take mid, um, send one or two at Herald. I don't want to go Herald because as soon as I leave the star, I think they will just follow me. Yeah, you see, they, that's why I don't want to leave it. They should take tower and we should go for Herald, like 2-2. Two, two. We do error. Oh wow. Gonna help you. Yeah, it's fine. Go with my W. I can kite him. But he's not in range anymore, so it's fine. Let's go back. We could definitely get both if they didn't just stop aggroing tower. That's also the reason why I sometimes don't make the right call because I knew if I if I went for Herald right there, everyone would just follow me. And that's not what we want. Okay, let's back. Sometimes when I play super aggressive and out position like a radar, it's because I built up. Obviously, you can't always do that. Cool, we got Executioners, now we can deal some real good damage and also deny the enemy from sustaining, so that's super nice. Our next objective is obviously gonna be Dragon, so I'm just gonna walk towards Dragon once I'm done cracking my fingers. There we go, maybe my neck as well. I think I just broke my neck. Oh, feels so good. I can actually wait for him here. As my team is doing Drake, they don't really need me. There we go. Cheesing works really well. Uh, we should do Baron. No mid. Baron. No. Bart is dead, and I don't really feel like they have vision on Baron. Yeah, yeah, right now it's perfect. Ooh. 
We should have done it at both sides, but it's whatever. I used to really play Zaya a lot. Lately, I haven't really touched her a lot. Sounds so weird, but yeah. It's a pretty risky call, but then again, I think we should be safe because we can do it real fast. They don't really have time to react to it. That's why I tried to force it. Once I cleared this wave, I will go back. There we go. I'm gonna take red as well once it's up. How much is zeal? Let's just get a look of agility right now. The reason why sometimes you do want to buy just cloak of agility and sometimes don't is once you um, have around 50 percent critical strike it's worth it to get it so let's say if you have 30 then it's also worth it so you'll reach that 50 percent but if you don't have any critical strike yet and you buy a cloak of agility you only get like 20 percent uh, critical strike so it's not always worth it then but right now it's much more worth than just getting a dagger that's for sure Okay. Team is grouping mid. I shouldn't. If I were my team, I would group bot. As it is much safer to get the bot tower than it is to get mid tower. But of course, maybe in this elo you can just force mid. But not 3 against 4. They will not win this. Uh, I will just take this top. Yeah. Um, yeah, we shouldn't really push. That's a bad. There we go. Now we can push. Because to our mid and uh, Kassad is dead. I'm gonna force them to come bot. So they can't really pressure mid lane. I don't want to hit the enemy champions right now. Because I have red buff. A tower aggro will be on me for a lot, a lot of time. Hit. Come on. No. Bart, where did you come from, you freaking assassin? <laughs> oh, if she's gonna get it, I'm gonna be laughing so hard. No, she didn't. <laughs> That's fine. Alright, so what are we gonna buy? Are we gonna go for Rapids or are we gonna go for Phantom? Actually, Runa is also viable. How many melee do they have? One, two, three, melees, melee, whatever you want to call it. Actually, Runa and Assassin are very justified. Hmm. I think Runa is pretty good, especially with executioners as well. I do think it stacks. I'm not sure, but I do think it stacks. Um. Yeah. Let's let's just do, let's just go with the flow. For what I'm saying, let's do it. So now that we got all like turrets, tier 2 turrets, we can now focus on the inner turrets, however, however you want to call these ones. So mid tower is not always the best option to take, usually it's best to take side, uh, side waves, side towers, side lanes. So I do want to get bot because Baron will be up in 2 minutes so if we can get inhibitor and tower here. It gives more pressure for us to do Baron, so that's fine. Okay. Oh yes, TP, TP, TP. Let's go, let's go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Come here. There we go, nice, good flash. Super worth it. Well, super worth it, not sure, but it's fine. Oh, come with me, come with me. 
Silas, stop, come with me. Please, fine. No, you leave me alone. There we go. Now, if I can take this, Ezreal think he's gonna beat me because I'm super low. Oh, he missed the C as well. Anyways, I will gladly take this inhibitor. Yeah. I shouldn't have gotten caught with a W. Its cooldowns are pretty low. Ooh. But if Vi just came with me, we could have gotten this inhibitor and then we could have went for Baron. Kinda greedy on my part, but I think it was needed. So as you can see, we are lacking a lot on the life seal part so we're gonna get some life seal uh we have swords also very juicy here but uh i don't think we do need damage per se right now so let's go for that also go for an uh elixir maybe excuse me okay let's go for red fast What's up? Are they gonna go for Baron? Yeah, I think they are. Set, I can't take red. I prefer to work at night because you know, the sun, right? Oh. Wait, they they aren't. What are they doing? Take some creeps. We do need our BT, so we need like 800 more gold. Are we full built then? Almost. Good. We're level 16 right now, which means level 3 ultimate. Only 100%, 100 second cooldown. Still pretty long. But uh, I think it's just a fight. Our ult's pretty good. Oh yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Now we can just force mid and end. Yeah, they shouldn't have done that. That Silas E was super troll. Just hard force. Nobody can stop us. Okay. Not too concerned by Ezreal. Wanna get the star. Okay, we should back right now. Back, Baron. So the reason why I didn't went for Baron is because the reason why you want to take Baron is in order to get more objectives on the map. But we could already get those objectives without Baron. Which means we could get already two inhibitors. So if we take those inhibitors, we can always get Baron later. So that's why sometimes just, well, most of the time it's just better to take the actual objectives themselves than always rush for Baron. Because with two inhibs down, what we can do is just force Baron anyway. That's what we're about to do right now. I'm taking all the resources because right now I am the strongest in our team. What are they doing? Why didn't they recall? Okay. Ezreal, where are you? Oh, you stop. Guys, can you stop? Baron is free. Well, I guess we can't really do Baron now. Okay, let's go for Drake. So movement speed go to Baron. Now Baron, please. Mm. 
when do we have our uh, mortal reminder? 600, okay. So Baron and one or two more waves. Super long game. <clears throat> we could have ended way faster. But I think it's pretty common. Unless your team really ruffles stomps all over. But I think you can learn a lot more from these types of games, these types of games than just stomping the laning phase and snowballing from that. Because there will come you will come to a point where you can't just snowball anymore, right? And then you gotta play games out like this. Cool. Yeah, we should uh, all five top. No reason for Garen to go, but literally no reason. Literally no reason. We do have more to reminder, but I'm not gonna waste time. Tempo is more important right now. I actually healed for the movement speed, but it wasn't necessary. I got hit? Wow, that's so retarded, man. So retarded. Anyways, I think this will be game. There we go. Let's write our GGLP, WP, and let's look at the scores. Then we can end, wrap this up. So, who am I gonna? Honor. I think everyone played well. Let's see. Um, yeah, as you can see, uh, a lot of damage. We did get out of control at a certain point. Alright, so. We were really fortunate enough for the enemy cast to be really bad and not go 9 0 instead of 0 9. So that's really, really important. Also, the Silas was super fed with. We managed to play around him, get some uh, anti-heal, and just force object objectives more than just forcing fights. As you could see, whenever Silas was fighting with our team, the team would die, but if we grouped up as five, then he really couldn't do much, because so much anti-heal and CC going on. Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. I'm also going to make one of uh, with Ezreal, actually. I already made one, but I'm not quite happy about that commentary, so I'm going to make a new one. Um, if you do like this, please let me know, and yeah, subscribe, share, and like, and catch you guys next time.